Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be discussing about metals and non-metals. So let us jump right into it. Now if you look at this sodium atom, sodium atom has a tendency to lose electron and become a positively charged ion that is cation. So what are metals? Metals are nothing but they are class of elements whose atoms have a tendency to lose electron and form positively charged cations. And if we look at non-metals, what are non-metals in that case? Now, here you can see a chlorine atom. Now, this chlorine atom has a tendency to accept electron and become a negatively charged ion called an anion. So, non-metals are nothing but class of elements whose atoms have a tendency to accept electron and form negatively charged ions called anions. If you look at the periodic table, then metals are found mostly on the right hand side of the periodic table. Uh, majority of the elements in the periodic table are metals. And if we have to look for non-metals, then non-metals are found on the left hand side top uh, of the periodic table. Now let us look at uh, certain properties of metals. Now metals are lustrous, they are good conductors of heat and electricity, uh, they are malleable and ductile means they can be beaten into thin sheets and drawn into very fine wires. Uh, they have a very high density, they are sonorous. Sonorous meaning that if you strike any metal, it is uh, bound to produce certain sound. They are very hard, they are strong, they are durable. They are solids of, at room temperature with the exception of mercury. Uh, they also have a very high melting and boiling point. Now, if you look at the properties of non-metals, if you compare the properties of non-metals with metals, then non-metals are non-lustrous, uh, they are poor conductors of heat and electricity, they are neither malleable nor ductile, they are mostly gases and liquids at room temperature, uh, they are brittle and soft. So these were the properties of non-metals. Now if you look at the uses of uh, metals and non-metals, metals play a very crucial role in various industrial applications. They are fundamental to our daily lives, uh, they are used in construction, uh, electronics, transportation, medicine and various other fields uh, due to their unique uh, properties and versatility. So this was a short introduction of metals and non-metals and we'll look into it into the details uh, later in the next video. Thank you very much.